Hey guys, today I just want to talk a little bit about this new iOS 4.3 beta 1 because this is a kind of an interesting story and it is about the graphics performance on Apple iOS devices. So the GPU that all of the iOS devices have been used for quite some time now it is called the Power RVR SGX535. Remember 535 there at the end and it's a GPU from Imagination Technologies and it's been used for quite some time it's got introduced on the iPhone 3GS and yeah they are still using it on Apple's A4 ships so this new cool thing in iOS 4.3 is that they have been looking on the files that they used and they saw that they have changed the GPU architecture in this new iOS 4.3 beta and the cool thing is that this GPU is called SGX543 so it's an update and it's kinda cool because this was a car that got released or it was introduced in January 2009 and it was a long time ago but now it's ready for mobile devices and the cool things about this new GPU is the specs so this card yeah this card is a GPU is said to deliver 35 million polygons per second and be able to filtrate 1 billion pixels per second when running at 200 megahertz and the cool thing is if you compare that to the SGX535 that all of the iOS devices are using right now they are using 28 million polygons per second comparing to this new one 35 and the same thing with the other thing the filtrate thingy this card it's using right now it could filter it 500 million pixels now this new one could filter 1 billion pixels and they are running at the same clock speed 200 megahertz so it's kind of sick actually that this new iOS 4.3 I think they are preparing before these new iPhone 5 and you know all these new devices that will come out they will use this new processor A5 processor and the cool thing with this processor is that it will probably be dual core and the cool thing about this new GPU is that it support multi-core configurations and that will you know you will get greater performance probably even better graphics when gaming and it, it's kind of cool actually it got another feature also called OpenCL and basically what it's doing is that it's using both your CPU and GPU for processing purposes and it's kind of cool actually I mean this could be one of the reasons I think why the iPod Touch 2G and iPhone 3G is no longer supported because I think they're preparing iOS 4.3 for the future devices the iPhone 5, the iPad 2, the iPod Touch 5 yeah I think they really are preparing and that's why they couldn't longer support the iPod Touch 2G so I'm quite happy about that that they you know just hopefully just didn't drop support so just because we should buy new things but it's kinda cool so what do you think are we going to get more awesome graphics I think because this new card this new GPU it is badass see ya